Scientists have printed cheesecake. 3D printing technology can revolutionize cooking. Scientists, showing its potential in this field, have printed cheesecake. As they admitted, printing food products can provide greater possibilities of adapting food to the needs of a given person, improve its safety and allow users to more easily control the content of nutrients in meals. Three-dimensional printing technology is used for many things. It is used to create houses, prosthetics, implants, doctors have implanted an ear printed from her own cells in a woman, and even organs, such as a heart. Now scientists from Columbia University and Pace University have used this technology to print, cheesecake. Although the first attempts did not go well, over time the scientists have perfected the recipe and created a cake that resembles the work of a chef. Will ovens, frying pans, samovars, and microwaves become a thing of the past? Perhaps. This will probably happen thanks to 3D printers, but it will certainly not happen anytime soon. Scientists from New York have attempted to print a cheesecake. It worked but in terms of taste, it didn't turn out so well. The first 3D printers for printing food were adapted quite a long time ago. The first experiments were conducted in Hod Lipson's laboratory at Columbia University in 2005. Until now, this technology had been limited to creating two ingredient dishes, which was a significant limitation. In new research, Jonathan Blutinger's team designed a special 3D printing system capable of constructing meals from seven different ingredients, equipping the 3D printer with nozzles designed to squeeze out selected ingredients and programming the printer to dose them into prepared dishes. They also equipped the equipment with a laser, which allows for heat treatment of ingredients. In the case of the cheesecake, which took 30 minutes to print, the scientists used cracker paste, peanut butter, strawberry jam, Nutella, banana puree, cherry topping and icing. The effects of the first attempts were not satisfactory. However, over time, the scientists refined the recipe and after five failed attempts, they created a cheesecake that resembled a real cheesecake. How did it taste? It definitely tasted like something I had never tried before. It was even good, but it's not a conventional mix. We are not Michelin chefs, noted Blutinger, the lead author of the publication. The most successful recipe used crackers as the primary ingredient in each layer of the cake. Peanut butter and Nutella proved to be the best as supporting layers which created pockets for the softer ingredients, banana puree and jam. This gave the cake a stiff structure and did not collapse. Cheesecake is the best thing we can currently present, but our printer can do much more. We can print chicken, beef, vegetables, and cheeses. Anything that can be turned into a paste, liquid, or powder, said Blutinger. Blutinger believes that printed food is a natural consequence of the development of this technology and its confrontation with the analog world of stoves, steamers, and pans. Potentially, such equipment can be used almost everywhere, from food manufacturers to restaurants and homes. 3D printers can be the next step in automation, freeing us from the need to prepare meals. Blutinger also sees this technology as a good way to track calories and precisely control nutrients, helping to prepare food for people on different diets. And although the authors admit that food from the printer should be classified as highly processed food, which, as many studies have shown, is terrible for health, they also claim that the approach to cooking they presented can help solve this problem, 
because it is possible to precisely calibrate the content of nutrients and calories in food. We have a huge problem with low nutritional value of processed food. 3D food printing will still mean processed food, but perhaps the silver lining for some people is that it will allow for greater control and customization of nutrition, said Kristen Cooper of Pace University Nutrition and Dietetics. However, the technology is still in its infancy. It has a long way to go before it reaches the market. Because 3D food printing is still a nascent technology, it needs an ecosystem of supporting industries, such as manufacturers of food cartridges or even authors of recipes for such devices, Blutinger pointed out.